Hello once again, Teacher B is back and another lesson today is about trapezoid or mga theorems on trapezoid. So quarter 3 na tayo and I hope na nakakasabay kayo sa mga lessons natin in mathematics. So ano nga ba ang trapezoids? So ang trapezoid ay isang uri ng quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. So isang pares ng parallel side. Example is this uh, figure. So you can see that we have one pair of parallel sides here. Itong mga base natin. Yung segment BC and segment AD ay parallel sa isa't isa. Or hindi sila magtatagpo kahit extend pa natin. Pero ang kanilang mga legs or yung segment BA and segment CD, hindi sila, sila parallel. Kasi pag in-extend mo yan, magtatagpo yan. So, hindi parallel. Isang pares lang ang parallel dito sa ating trapezoids. At meron tayong iba't ibang parts ng trapezoids. So, nakita nyo na nga sa picture, meron tayong base or bases. So, yung mga base natin is yung mga parallel sides ng ating trapezoid. At yung legs naman natin is yung non-parallel sides. At merong dalawang klase ng trapezoid. Isang non-isosceles at isosceles trapezoid. Ito ay isang uri ng non-isosceles. Kasi pag sinabi natin isosceles, dapat congruent ang legs or pantay ang legs. Pero dito makikita ninyo hindi pantay ang ating legs. So this is non-isosceles. Pero kung pantay ang legs or pareho ng sukat yung ating mga legs, that is what we call isosceles trapezoid. Katulad dito, ayan. Ayan. So, this is an example of isosceles trapezoid. Itong color white na to. Okay. So, unahin muna natin yung mga theorems related dito sa trapezoids. Yung tinatawag nating mid-segment theorem. So, ano ba to? So, nasa theorem number 6 na tayo. Tama? Theorem number 6. So, the median of a trapezoid is parallel to each base and its length is one half the sum of the length of the bases. Okay, theorem 6 na tayo kasi may mga nauna kong videos nandun ko in-explain yung theorem 1 to 5 about rectangles, rhombus, midline theorem. So, pwede nyo yung balikan bago kayo pumunta dito sa theorem 6. So, according dito sa theorem 6, yung ating daw median ay one half the sum of the length of our bases. So, ito yung tinatawag natin mid-segment theorem. At meron tayong formula na ginagamit base dito sa theorem number 6 and that is median is equal to one half of the sum of the two bases. Paano nga ba yun? Magbigay tayo ng mga examples para mas madali nyo maintindihan. Bago yun, ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng median? Ang median ay yung segment that connects the midpoints of the legs of a trapezoid. Look at our trapezoid. Ang ating legs dito is segment OH and segment PE. At ang mga midpoints nila dito sa segment OH is, seg is point S. And then on the other side, segment PE, ang midpoint niya is point P. Pag pinagdugtong natin yung mga points na yan, yung dalawang midpoint na yan, ayan, doon nabubuo yung tinatawag nating mid-segment or median. In this trapezoid, segment ST is our mid-segment or median. At ang sukat daw ng median ay one half of the sum of the two bases. Ang sukat ng ating median ay kalahate ng sum ng dalawang base. So, I-add mo yung segment OP and then yung segment HE then kunin mo yung kalahati nun or divide by 2. Yon ang sukat ng ating median. Let's have our example. If segment AB is 8 and segment DC is 12, what is segment EF? So AB, this one is 8 and another base Segment DC is 12. Ang tinatanong, ano ang segment EF? Again, ang formula natin, 
para sa median is EF is equal to 1 half of the sum of the two bases. Yung base natin dito is yung segment AB and segment DC. So, i-add lang natin yan, segment AB plus segment DC, then get the one half of it or divide sa 2. So, substitute natin yung segment AB is 8 and yung segment DC is 12. So, i-add lang natin muna yung may parentheses, yung nasa loob ng parentheses. That is 20. Then, 20 times 1 half or simply divide by 2 kasi kalahati daw ng 20, that is 10. Ang ating EF is N. Okay, again, i-add mo lang to. 8 plus 12 is 20, then divide by 2. Yun ang sukat ng ating median. Kaya nakuha natin yung 10. Another one example, if segment IJ is Y plus 3, and segment HG is 14, and segment EF is 18, what is the value of Y? And what is the value of segment IJ? So, ito yung segment IJ natin, Y plus 3. Yung segment HG is 14. At yung segment EF is 18. Ang solution natin is yung formula pa rin ng ating median. So, ang median natin dito is segment IJ. And segment IJ is equal to 1 half of the sum of the two bases, which is segment HG and segment EF. So, substitute lang natin yung mga value nila dito sa ating formula. So, segment IJ is equal to Y plus 3. Kaya, naging Y plus 3 to, and then equal to 1 half. Then, yung segment HG is 14. And segment EF is 18. So, 14 plus 18. 14 plus 18 is 32. And then, get the 1 half of 32, anong kalahati ng 32? That is 16. So, y plus 3 is equal to 16. Get the value of y. So, move lang natin yung 3 to the other side. Magiging negative siya. So, we have 16 minus 3. Simplify. Ang ating y is 13. Nakuha na natin yung ating y. How about our ij or segment ij? So, remember... According sa given, yung segment IJ natin is Y plus 3. Palitan lang natin yung Y ng nakuha natin value niya, which is 13. 13 plus 3, the answer is 16. So, yung IJ natin is 16. I-check nga natin, 14 plus 18, 32. Then, 32 divided by 2. The answer is 16. So, tama yung answer natin na yung segment IJ is 16. Another example, if segment HG is equal to X, so X to, then segment IJ is 16 and segment EF is 22, what is the value of X? So, alamin natin yung X o yung sukat ng segment HG. So, ang segment IJ is 16, segment EF is 22. Ang formula natin sa median, IJ is equal to 1 half of the sum of segment HG and segment EF. Substitute lang natin. Segment IJ is 16, then equal to 1 half of HG plus segment EF. So, HG is X. So, lagay mo lang X plus itong 22. Next na gagawin natin is i-multiply natin sa 2 both sides para matanggal itong 1 half. Okay? So, we will multiply. 2 times 16 is 32 and maiiwan na lang yung x plus 22. Susunod, get the value of x. So, ibig sabihin kailangan x lang maiwan. So, we will move 22 to the other side. Magiging negative siya. 32 minus 22 is equal to x. Then, x is equal to 10. Kasi 32 minus 22 is 10. Nakuha na natin ang measurement ng segment HG. How about number 4? If segment HG is equal to y minus 2, and segment IJ is 20, and segment EF is 31, what is the value of y and what is the value of HG or segment HG? 
ang given itong HG natin which is Y minus 2 and segment IJ which is 20 and segment EF which is 31. Alamin natin ang value ng ating Y at ano ang exact measurement ng segment HG. Gamitin pa rin natin yung formula ng median at isubstitute. Segment IJ is 20 is equal to 1 half and then yung HG natin is Y minus 2 plus yung segment EF na 31. Next, isimplify natin yung negative 2 plus 31 kasi pwede mong isimplify sila dahil pareho lang naman sila na number lang. That's why we have 29. Kaya naging 29 to. Then the rest, kinopya lang natin. Tapos napansin nyo, may multiply din natin sa 2 para ma-cancel itong 1 half. Okay? Then, 2 times 20 is 40. Then equal to y plus 29. May iwan na lang yung y plus 29. Then so for y, lipat lang natin itong 29 to the other side. Magiging negative na siya or minus. 40 minus 29 is equal to y. The answer is 11. Yung y natin ay 11. Nakuha na natin ang value ng y. How about the measurement of segment HG? So remember, segment HG is y minus 2. Para makuha natin to, palitan lang natin yung y ng nakuha natin value niya, which is 11. 11 minus 2, the answer is 9. So, ang segment HG natin is 9. Okay, how about number 5? If segment HI is equal to 10, so itong HI is 10, and segment IE is x minus 4, what is the value of x and what is segment IE? So remember, itong point I is the midpoint of this side. Ibig sabihin, ninahati niya into two equal parts. Therefore, we can say that they are equal. Yung segment HI or segment IH is equal to segment IE. Pareho sila na sukat. Without computation, makikita natin na ang sukat nitong IE is 10. Kasi 10 to, di 10 din to. Pero ipakita natin yung solution. At unahin muna natin kunin yung ating X. So yung segment HI is equal to segment IE. Substitute natin yung segment HI is 10 is equal to segment IE X minus 4. So move lang natin yung negative 4 to the other side. Magiging positive na siya. Then 10 plus 4, that is 14. Nakuha na natin yung X. At para makuha yung ating IE, substitute lang natin itong X, yung nakuha natin number dito sa X, then so 14 minus 4, the answer is 10. So you see, pareho lang sila ng supat. Yung segment HI is 10 and segment IE is also 10. Okay? So ayan yung mga kailangan yung tandaan sa ating trapezoid related sa mid-segment theorem. Kaya ito lang ang dapat nating tandaan sa mid-segment theorem, yung formula ng ating median, which is one half of the sum of the two bases. Pero bukod dyan, meron din mga theorems na para sa isosceles trapezoid. Okay. Ang isosceles trapezoid, nabanggit ko na kanina, ito yung mga trapezoid na congruent yung kanlang legs, pantay yung kanlang legs. Katulad nga nitong example natin na to. Ayan, yung color white na yan. Isosceles trapezoid siya. Or eto. Yung leg niya, mapapansin nyo, pantay or equal. Then, meron siyang base or parallel sides. Ayan. At of course, yung ating base angles. Ayan. May mga theorems din tayo related dito para lamang sa isosceles trapezoid. Una, Yung base angles ng ating isosceles trapezoid daw ay congruent. Yung opposite angles niya ay supplementary. Ibig sabihin, pag pinag-add mo, 180 dapat. At yung kanyang diagonals ay congruent. Isa-isahin natin itong mga theorems na to. Okay. So, ito nga yung base angles natin. Kung ito ay 60, itong isang angle dito ay 60 rin. Pagdating naman sa opposite angles, yung angle na to at yung angle dito, dapat pag pinag-add mo sila, 180. Kasi supplementary. 
sa parallelogram pag opposite angles congruent. Di ba? Magtatandaan nyo. Kapag uh, opposite angles sa parallelogram, equal. Pero dito sa trapezoid, pag opposite angles, supplementary sila. Dapat 180. Hindi sila congruent. Okay? At theorem 9, nung kanilang diagonal ay congruent. So, let's solve using our example. So, given the trapezoid BCDA, and meron tayong angle na given, which is yung angle C na 100, find the measurement of angle B. So, ito yung hinahanap natin. Ano kayang answer? The answer is 100 degrees or simply 100 then. Bakit kaya? Remember, in theorem number 7, the base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So, base angles to. At pareho sila ng sukat or equal sila. Kaya, 100 din ang answer. Another example, if segment KB is 15, so ito yun, segment KB is 15, and segment JB is 5, find the segment FM. So, itong segment na to ang hahanapin natin. So, ano kaya sa palagi nyo ang answer? Tandaan na ang diagonals nila ay congruent. So, bakit naging 20 ang answer natin? Kasi itong segment KJ ay equal sa segment FM. Kasi diagonals are congruent. So, ipag-add mo lang yung mga sukat nila. So, 15 plus 5. Yung kabuuan itong line na to, 20. At itong 20 na to ay equal sa isa pang diagonal. Okay? The diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. That is why segment FM is 20. Another example, find the measurement of angle F, angle E, and angle G given yung nag-iisang angle na angle H which is 49. So, gamitin natin yung theorem 8, opposite angles of an isosceles trapezoid or supplementary. Ang opposite nitong angle H is itong angle F. So, kunin natin yung angle F. Sabi, supplementary. Ibig sabihin, pag pinag-add mo sila, dapat 180. So, we can say that angle F plus angle H is equal to 180. Substitute natin. Yung angle F is unknown. And yung angle H natin is 49. So, we just put 49 here. Then, equal to 180. At para makuha yung angle F, isubtract lang natin yung 49 sa 180. 180 minus 49, the answer is 131. So, therefore, yung angle F natin is 131. Paano naman yung angle E at paano naman ang angle G? Ano kayang sukat nila? Remember, itong angle G ay base angles din. At ang base angles ng trapezoid, isosceles trapezoid, are congruent. So kung ito ay 131, edi yung angle G is also 131. Punta naman tayo sa baba, pareho sila na base angles. So kung ito ay 49, ano ang angle E? Tama kayo, ang angle E natin is 49. Kasi base angle sila and they are congruent. Okay? So, nasagutan na natin or nakuha na natin yung lahat ng angles ng ating isosceles trapezoid. Basta tandaan nyo lang yung tatlong theorem natin regarding dito sa trapezoid. Okay? Ito na yun ulit. Theorem 7, base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. Yung opposite sa angles nila, supplementary. And yung kanilang diagonals ay congruent. So, yun lang ang mga dapat tandaan. I hope na matulungan ka ng video na to para nagkaroon ng idea or mas maintindihan mo pa yung mga examples na binibigay sa inyo ng inyong mathematics teacher regarding sa isosceles trapezoid. At makatulong ito para masagutan mo ng mas madali ang mga learning tasks. Kung may natutunan ka sa video ko today, pwede mo i-click yung like para mas ganahan si Teacher V na gumawa ng mga ganitong klase ng videos related sa mathematics. Huwag mo rin kalimutan na i-share ito sa mga kaklase mo at sa mga kaibigan mo para matutunan sila sa math. So that's it. See you again sa susunod kong video and bye-bye!